Grundvig's Church Copenhagen, Denmark Grundvig's Church or Grundvig's Kirk is located in the Bispjug district of Copenhagen, Denmark. It is a rare example of expressionist church architecture. Due to its unusual appearance, it is one of the best known churches in the city. The commission for the construction of a church to be named after the Danish philosopher and hymn writer N.F.S. Grundvig was decided through a competition, won by Peter Wilhelm Jensen Clint in 1913. The foundation of the new church was only laid after World War I, on September 8, 1921, Grundvig's birthday. Building took place mainly from 1921 to 1926 when the tower section was completed, leading to the initial inauguration of the so-called Tower Church in 1927. Further work on the interior and on adjacent buildings continued until 1940 and was completed by Clint's son Carr Clint after his father's death in 1930. The church stands at the center of a residential development, 1924-36, also in yellow brick, designed by Jensen Clint in harmony with the church. Architecture Jensen Clint's design for Grundvig's church is a synthesis of architectural styles. In preparation for the project, the architect studied many Danish village churches, particularly those on the island of Zeeland with stepped gables. Their traditional building techniques, materials, and decoration inspired his design. Clint merged the modern geometric forms of brick expressionism with the classical vertical of Gothic architecture. The most striking feature of the building is its west façade, reminiscent of a west work or of the exterior of a church organ. It includes the 49 m, 160 feet, tall bell tower. The imposing façade with its strong verticality guides one's eyes towards the sky. The bottom half of the tower is simple brick while the upper reaches present the appearance of one solid, rippling surface. Clint decorated the nave with a version of the stepped gables common on Danish churches, but reinterpreted by doubling the apex. The nave was designed with generous dimensions, the triple-aisled hall church is 76 m, 259 feet, long in total and 35 m. 115 feet, wide, the nave has a height of 22 m, 72 feet. Interior The interior, inspired by Gothic architecture and comparable in size to Copenhagen Cathedral, fits a congregation of 1,800. Some 6 million yellow bricks, a typical Danish building material, were used for the edifice. In its floor plan, the interior resembles that of a typical Gothic church with a nave, two lateral aisles and a small transept. Its proportions are also Gothic, a long, narrow nave, an extremely high ceiling, the columns which rise up to pointed arches and the ribbed groin vaults above the nave and aisles. But it is the yellow brick and the lack of ornamentation which contribute to the Gothic verticality while adhering to the minimalist modern aesthetic. The two organs The church has two organs. The one on the north side of the nave near the chancel was built in 1940 by Marcusen and S.N., the façade being designed by Carr Clint. It has 14 stops, two manuals and a pedal board. The much larger Marcusen instrument at the western end of the nave was added in 1965 with a façade designed by Carr Clint's son, S. Ben Clint. It has 55 stops, four manuals and a pedal board. The largest of its pipes weighs 425 kilograms, 937 pounds, and, with a length of 32 feet, 11 m, is the longest organ pipe in Scandinavia. Integration and flanking buildings The scheme also including construction of a number of buildings collectively known as On the Hill, D.A. Pop Jurgit, on each side of the church, places it in a symmetrical context to enhance its visual impact. Designed by Jensen Clint in collaboration with Wilhelm Wittrup, Charles I Chu and George Chissel, the buildings contain the parish hall and apartments and were built from 1924 to 1926. A long tree-lined road leads through Bispjug Cemetery directly towards the church and the flanking buildings, creating a viewing axis similar to those of the Baroque period. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.